Hey guys! <laughs> I always start my videos off like this, I don't know why. But we have a small little update with a new small little overlay that I wanted to show you guys and present to you because there is a ton of overlays that you can implement like last fan, last invite and so on. But sometimes we don't really have the space on our stream to actually show all of these things. So what I created is a compact way to show all of your events um, while broadcasting and and it helps to see what is going on you don't even have to look at your stream now to check this out so what I created is a way of implementing the event tracker on your OBS overlay what that means is that we can click here on the little settings button and then here you can implement it through OBS. You can also have a new feature where you can show the profile picture of the users that have been dropping it. So when you press on this check mark and you press OK on save, it will also show the profile picture. You can add that if you want to. Let's put it back on off and it's gonna go back in. So let's click on this OBS button and look at the tool that I've created for you guys. So once we click on it, we're gonna see these little boxes here and we can now modify them and customize them however we want. The first step though, which I don't like to do is copy in the URL button, going on your OBS, just like that. Then as usual, we create a new browser source. We call it um, event tracker or whatever you wanna call it. We add the URL that we copied from here and paste it in here. And then we set the width and height, which is 600 to 700, but we can also just keep the default for this tool. Then we press okay, it's gonna load in, and here we have it. Now what we can do is customize this feature. So how do we do that? Um, we can click here on these two modification tabs as usual. So as an example, we are gonna click on general, then we can set the amount of boxes that we want. Um, I would like to have the last two because I don't want to take too much space. And I like the profile pictures, so I'm gonna keep them. If you don't want the profile pictures, you can also with this button turn them on and off. Um, so I wanna keep them on on, so that's fine. I wanna show my newest subscribers, the newest fans, the newest invites, the newest moments, and the minimum likes for showing a, a gift is also set to one because I wanna show all the gifts. So I'm gonna keep this as default. Next part is in the modification uh, for the colors, I want to change the design a little bit because um, my overlay is mostly a little bit blue and white, so I wanna match it to those colors. We can click here on the background color and we can set it to blue, um, just like that. We can now see also in the OBS overlay here that it's changing, we can see this very easily. Um, I want, we can also set the transparency down here with this slider so we can make it transparent if we want to, so we can see what's going on behind. Uh, I like the text color in white, I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna keep it white. And we wanna set the border color to black, so that's good. So, that this is really it. You can now show the latest events showing in your stream and it's a cool way to have everything compact and, and also remind yourself what actually happened. I think it's a pretty cool feature. I uh, hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next stream. Um, one more thing. It's very easy to like not understand every tool, but we have small little YouTube icons that you can see here. So when you click these icons, you learn everything about the tool. Not every tool still has one of these. They're gonna get integrated step by step, but I think it's an awesome way to actually figuring out everything. Yeah, that is it. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.